What's going on, everybody? The Corner Man here, Ryan the Mighty Quinn, with one of my best friends in the business, Saba the Sleek Sheik Homasi. What's up, my man? Good, man. How are you? Oh, great, great. So happy to have you here, dude. Um, so, yeah, Saba, I just wanted to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I know you got something coming up. We're going to get to that. Um, just, I, you know, since you signed with Bellator, you just had the contract extension. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you. Um, I think that, you know, within the last couple of years, I'm just going to jump right to it. I've noticed such a jump in your game as a fighter. And, like, I've known you for a long time. And one of the things is I feel like you're just so much more confident with coming forward with your striking and you're just really landing devastating shots. I think that is because because I know how you train. I think that you're finally comfortable with wrestling takedowns. I think that's got to be a big part of it. What do you have to say about that? Um, no, I think it's. You know, I say this you know, time and time again, more of like a maturing mentally thing for me. You know, I, I think I'm, mentally I need to be where I'm at right now. Um, it started coming together to me when I was like 30. You know, everything just started clicking and I was be, being able to perform the way I do in the gym in my fights. And I'm just being more comfortable in that manner. So, um, yeah, I mean, my... The whole striking aspect and everything, I'm just uh, more comfortable in there. I'm more loose. I'm more myself. And that's why I'm having these outcomes. Yeah, man. You know, uh, and you say just maturity and stuff like that. And you, you've been thrown into situations where you've been in fights that were somewhat over your head. And in those aspects, it's really tough to grow in those aspects other than you know that you've been in there with someone. Like, um, because nine times out of ten, like me, like whenever I fought somebody over my head, I was going right back to my comfort zone. I was shooting takedowns, just trying to take them down nonstop. Right. So, um, I, I think that, you know, for lack of a better word, that kind of might have stunted your growth a little bit on. I mean, and I like you said, I know you train with everybody. I, I seen you at the gym. You, you don't you, you don't pick and choose your partners. You're there for everybody. You're learning from everyone. And um, yeah, I think that's coming into fruition now. So, yeah, I agree with you. You're definitely maturing. Um, right. Well, I mean, how, how much do we really mature? But uh, you're definitely maturing. Right. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, um, uh, what ahead. was that? That. It's like a fine wine, right? With age, they get yeah. better. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's fantastic, man. Um, so uh, June twenty fourth, you're fighting. Um, what's his name? Oh, uh, Macon Mancona. Is that how it's pronounced? Mancona. I believe uh, it's pronounced Mendoza. I, the C is like a pronounced as a, a oh, okay. Z. Okay. Um, from what I hear, because I watched his last fight and the way that the announcers were announcing him was uh, Mendoza. So I don't know how to pronounce his first name, but. Well, I get that. Cause the second N in my last name is silent too. So it totally oh. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, but uh, so um, that's actually a big knife for ATT, but I see here, you know, you both fought Jaleel white. What was it like fighting Steve Urkel? No, Jaleel, Jaleel Willis. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, but other than that, what do we know about him? I just know he's a striker, um, purple belt in jiu-jitsu, which, okay. you know, I don't, it's, it's a fight, dude, you know? It's, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, step on the ground is, is different. If I'm on bottom, I'm working to get up, and if I'm on top, I'm looking to rain heavy yeah. punches on top of you so you know i've been training on american champion for a long time you know training training with the best you know how it is so um to me it's just another fight i have the experience i got plenty of fights i've mm -hmm. fought former champions i fought you know tough really tough guys and i'm just confident in being in there and focusing on what i have to do in order to win a fight not yeah, really, like, not on what the other person is doing at the end of the day because you just got to focus on me. Yeah, you know, it, and you got me saying when you said purple belt in jiu-jitsu, it's almost like who's not a purple belt in jiu-jitsu when you're fighting right. professionally these days. <laughs> so, um, uh, so yeah, so I know exactly what you mean. I mean, and we that's a whole nother interview talking about um, translating jiu-jitsu and whatnot to fighting and everything like that. You're definitely in the best place in the world when it comes to training MMA and knowing that game. 
But uh, yeah, so so that's up in Mohegan, right? Uh, late June. Yeah. So that's also the same night as uh, Danny Sabatello and Johnny, right? Johnny Evelyn. Yep. Johnny yeah. Evelyn for the title. He's fighting uh, Musasi. And um, we have, including myself, there's six guys. From the six. Team. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I miss those. Those were always the best days when we had a lot of guys in the card. You know, it's right. just you know, there. Really, it's fantastic, you know. Yeah, and then it's the best when everybody wins. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Who else fighting on the card? So we have me, Johnny, Danny, Achilles. Um, I believe his name is Alexander, and. One more person. I'm having a brain fart here. Johnny. I could look it up. Oh, yeah. I know that dude. No, I could look it up. I could look it up. No, man, that's I awesome. I, the other day, dude, it's six people. I'm like, wow. This. I love when we have multiple guys on a, on a card. So it's good. Yeah, the weigh-in dinner is always fun. You know, if you like, I mean, I think you're like me. I always got like a small workout in the day, if, the morning of fight day, like just to sweat out a little bit, like just like five, yeah. ten minutes. Uh, you yeah. could do that with somebody. There's just this. You can go for a walk. There's a lot of stuff to do. Sometimes I feel like when I was by myself, I almost felt like I had to babysit my corner. Not that they ever needed that, but I felt like, oh man, they're here for me. I got to make sure they're comfortable. And like, I just feel I'm like that pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but um, man, you know, hey, listen, bro. You know, you know, think the world of you. If, if you can ever use, a, you need a warm body to come try and grapple. I mean, my striking probably sucks now. I haven't done it. Not that it was ever any good to start. But uh, please let me know, man. And I'm always I, I need an excuse to get back in the gym. So, but uh, we're looking forward to the fight, June 24th. Everybody, tune in. Saba, the sleek sheik, hum- sleek sheik Humasi, and the rest of the ATT crew for Bellator. Later, brother. Later, man. Thank you, Ryan.